Okay, so I use these four tactics to grow my channel from zero and turn my videos from looking like this to videos that get a couple of views in the first few days, but then once they get ranked, they just keep gaining views. This one is getting 66 views every 48 hours and they don't stop. Now, the best thing about these videos is, as you can imagine, if you can stack 10, 20, 30 videos like that over each other, even if you're a small channel, this will essentially grow it on autopilot. And one thing about this video is that when I posted it, I had about 14 or 15 subscribers and it didn't matter. It got ranked anyway. It kept gaining views since then. And this one video single-handedly got me 100 subscribers already and it will get me even more of them as time goes on. So. In this video, I'm gonna show you the four tactics I use. And an even better thing is if you have something to sell or some affiliate links or anything, you can link them down in the description, have a middle of the video call to action, and people will just keep clicking on a link and buying your stuff. And this video then essentially acts like an ad, but needs no ad spend. So it just keeps going, keeps bringing you new traffic but you don't spend any money on it. So what can you actually do with vidIQ to get your videos ranked like this one? The first thing is I'm gonna be using vidIQ Boost version, not Pro Boost for this video. And if you wanna get it, you can get it down in the link in the description, but otherwise, let's just get into it. So the first tactic I use to get these videos ranked is the competitors tab on vidIQ. Uh, when you enter vidIQ, just click on competitors here. If you have the boost version, it should be open. Um, and you can get down here and see all the different stats that your competitors have, uh, people in your niche. You see the view growth or fall in the last seven, 14, 28 days, and also their subscriber counts and average views per day and how many videos they've posted by now. But this is not the actual powerful thing. The powerful thing that you can use about it is this section, top videos from your competitors. And why this is so powerful is you can select a time period, for example, this month, uh, and you sort the videos by views. And what this does is essentially it shows you how many days have elapsed from uh, the person posting the video, how many views it got and how many views per hour it is still getting. Now, what you can look at here is different trends or different patterns in different videos from your competitors that maybe point to a trend going on in your niche or um, some kind of a, a big demand for a certain topic. So for example, if we look at my competitors here, we can see that there's a bit of a trend going on uh, in everything updated for 2024. Uh, so the state of YouTube videos, intros, uh, 2024, what's working right now? How to start YouTube, 2024. Um, Sony best budget camera 2024 if you want to grow an audience in 2024 do this and all of these videos they haven't been posted like one day ago to get uh, to be getting 40 views per hour they've been posted a month ago 20 days ago a month ago 13 days ago these are videos that if the topic wasn't in demand they would probably just fizzle out be getting about one to two views per hour right now because these are big channels, but they wouldn't be getting 40 like this after one month of posting. So what we can do when we find these types of trends is we can note down ideas like how to grow on YouTube in 2024, and we can make our own versions of these videos uh, depending on what niche we're in. By the way, this is a system that I use for getting ideas, uh, systemizing my content production so I spend less than three hours a week on it uh, with everything in it. And if you want to get it, you can get it in the link down in the description. Uh, put your email in uh, and I will email you as soon as I get it out uh, and finish producing it for the public. So. Uh, yeah, just put the, the email down in the description and I'll send you one uh, as soon as it gets out. Now, the second tactic is a bit different and it also involves your competitors. So this is a tactic where you actually go to your competitors' channels. Uh, you go to their channels 
and you don't sort their videos by latest, popular or oldest because popular, for example, would just give you the most popular videos out of all. But these can be two years old and they aren't relevant for you anymore uh, because they hopped on a trend at that time, but that trend may not be active anymore. So what you do instead is you go to the latest and what you can see here is first, there's a couple metrics that vidIQ is going to give you uh, when you when you actually add in the Chrome extension. So first is the views per hour, uh, which is one metric, but the, the, the better metric to look at is this. This is the, um, the score of how much better the video is performing than the channel average. And what you can note down from here is you can just go through the videos and see which ones are right now outperforming other videos on their channel and this, there's a good chance this is a trend or a high demand topic in your niche. So for example, Genius Content Strategy for Entrepreneurs is performing at a 4x rate to other videos. Now this could be because of Patrick Bet David here who is pretty famous. Uh, this could be because it's for entrepreneurs and not a lot of content is made for entrepreneurs. But you have to do a little bit more research to see um, what other competitors are producing to see the patterns that correlate. That it's not just uh, this person, the Patrick B B David here, who affects uh, the video performing better. AI is performing at two X. So AI here could be a good topic to cover. Now if you go down here, best video editing software, also pretty much um, video editing software here is performing at 4X and here uh, a similar thing with AI is performing at 2x so maybe I could create a video on video editing software I go in here put a new video idea in video editing software video editing software this is educating uh, and I go back in here um, then you can just go down uh, see all the other competitors to see what's performing better for them now another way of doing this is instead of going down the feed like this uh, you just go to these three dots uh, that vidIQ is going to give you uh, on top of their channel you go under view trending videos and you get the top videos that have the most views per hour right now on this channel uh, and a similar thing happens here you just look for videos that have very high views per hour uh, and have been posted less than six months ago because more than six months ago it's already a bit outdated you may you may or may not be able to hop on a trend but less than six months ago it's probably still relevant so it pays uh, to try and test out a video like this we can see AI tool uh, this AI tool creates videos in seconds this further proves uh, that I should create a video about video editing software. How to grow from zero to 1,000 subscribers if I started a channel uh, in 24, 2024. If, if I started a channel in 2024, I do this. These are both videos for small YouTube channels. So I could create a video. Uh, how to grow for small YouTube channels. Educating. And I go back in. Uh, this is the second tactic that I use. Now there's a trap. Now there's a trap that you can fall into in all of these tactics except one. And that is you could build an audience that brings you a lot of views but when you want to sell them something, when you want to sell them their services or your products or something else, they're not gonna buy. Now this is a tactic that I use to measure uh, which subscribers I actually am attracting uh, which audience is actually interested in my content so I can adjust my videos so I don't accidentally build an audience of just viewers but never buyers because we don't want to do that. So how I do this is I go under subscribers tab on vidIQ and what you can see here is what your subscribers are watching. And if we go down here we can see my subscribers are watching videos on AI software, videos on how to grow on YouTube, and some videos about how to make money online. Now this is kind of my niche, but I would wanna focus more 
on the business side of things, not the drop shipping, SMMA, uh, make quick money online community. So maybe I have to make some videos that are less related to that community and more related to my community, which is actually building a business off of YouTube online. Now the second thing you can see in here in the subscribers tab is who your subscribers are subscribing to. And if we go down here, just look for channels that you find inspiring that you wanna be like and try to get them as high as possible with your content. So for example, for me, channels like Myron Golden, who's a really successful entrepreneur and creating really amazing videos, this one should be on top of the list right here because I want my channel to be um, pretty much like him, except more YouTube focused. So if you don't see the channels you look up to in this tab here, uh, you have to change up your content a little bit. Look at what those channels are talking about uh, and try to make content more similar to them so you attract a more similar audience to them too. Now the fourth way I use vidIQ is doing keyword research. Now the best tool to use this for is the keywords tab in vidIQ and what you do here is you just put in a keyword like YouTube and what vidIQ shows you is the search volume for this keyword so how many searchers there are per month uh, on this topic and how much competition there is and what you're looking at is getting keywords that have very high search volume but very low competition and what this is going to do if you create a video that solves that specific problem that specific question YouTube is gonna have no choice but to recommend your video and this is the same tactic that I use for example for this video where I just got recommended because there was nobody else that actually had a video that answered that question. Now we have four tabs open here and I can show you how to go in it. If we go in and click on questions here we can find this score. Now VidIQ combines both of these scores into a master score uh, that basically tells you what the chance of your video getting ranked on this topic is. And the higher the score, the better. If it's in green, even low subscriber count channels with almost no audience can get ranked on it pretty quickly. And if we go to questions in here, you can see there are a lot of questions about YouTube that have pretty high scores in green that, you, that I, for example, could rank for even if I have uh, 20 subscribers right now. The thing about this keyword tactic is that it's pretty hard to do and it's a whole process to get it going. So if you want to learn how to target these high search topics with low competition, watch this video next where I go in depth into this topic uh, so you can get ranked even if you have zero views right now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.